Hello and welcome to this last section in this course on excellence in leadership where we're going to talk about how can you develop your personal improvement plan and implement it to become an excellent leader over a period of time. So the purpose of this uh, module is specifically to help you understand how can you personally improve your leadership capabilities. We have looked at what is leadership, what is excellence in leadership, how can you get to excellence in leadership and at specific circumstances of remote working and in different cultural and functional leadership situations, how can you become an excellent leader. So in this lecture, we will talk about particularly a process that can tell you how can you personally improve your pers uh, leadership capabilities and become excellent leader over a period of time. So what do you think? How can you improve your leadership capabilities? We have uh, shared lots of advices, models, methods uh, by now. So, and we have defined a excellent leadership as leadership that gets extraordinary results from ordinary people for the sake of the world. So in that direction, how can you improve your leadership capabilities is the question. So what you need to do, it's a, first you need to see is that uh, leadership improvement is a continuous process. It's a journey and it's a journey that continues till you come to a step where you are being regarded as an excellent leader. And it begins by assessing your leadership capabilities in your organization, wherever you are working, whether you are a junior leader or within a function in a company or you are a functional leader or a business leader. So first thing is to assess your leadership capabilities. Then is to go and ask the people whom you are going to interact, your peers, your subordinates or direct reports and your managers and leaders for suggestions for improvement. Seek suggestions for improvement on the capabilities that we will talk about later. And then based on the suggestions received and the assessment of the leadership capabilities, you formulate a personal improvement plan. And as you will see, here is what you need to make some choices. You try, don't try and do everything as we had seen as a pitfall in case of functional leadership, leadership uh, uh, condition in the survey that was done. So you formulate a personal improvement plan and then you implement the personal improvement plan. And once you start implementing at different intervals, you go back and assess your leadership capabilities. And this is thus does this becomes a continuous process where you assess leadership capability, make improvement plans based on suggestions for improvement from your key stakeholders who are your peers, your direct reports and your managers, and then you implement those plans and go back and assess. So it's a continuous process. And you keep doing till the time you get a feedback, you get a sense that you are close to being an excellent leader. So what do we do next? So in the next uh, uh, lecture, we start talking about the first step of this process of assessing your leadership capabilities. How can you assess the, your leadership capabilities in the organization, in the environment that you're operating? And that's what we will do in the next lecture. So thank you so much for watching this first lecture of uh, personal improvement planning in this course on excellence in leadership. I hope you're beginning to learn again a few new things, beginning to enjoy, and I do look forward to see you again in the next lecture.